Lauren, you've been presenting it to ILA audiences for years. What are some of the biggest differences you've seen in terms of the books that teachers and students want and need? Wow, that's a great question. Well, I think that we want right now, of course, what we're all thinking about is stories by with authentic voices, um, not only about diverse characters, but written by authors from lots of different backgrounds. And I think that's something we're doing also in the magazines. We're really trying, we've, we are, we've always, um, you know, we've always presented a really wonderfully diverse type of story offering um, from lots of different cultures. We have really, I think we feel really proud of the representation. That's the term that we have in the magazine. But what, what I think we're really, emphasizing, and, and to your question, I think we're really yearning for authentic stories by people who can share from their own experiences. So someone, if someone is, you know, writing about a family, if, you know, family history, um, you know, from a member of a, you know, of a particular indigenous group. Um, uh, I, we also really, I think teachers are looking for, for stories that also are uniting, as I said earlier, that can be stories that all of us can connect to um, as Americans that remind us of our shared, what, what we, that not remind us not of our differences, but of all that we share as human beings um, and as Americans and as, um, you know, just people in the world. So it, it is, a, it has, I'm, I've been at Scholastic for 30 years now, um, and it is pretty incredible. And then the, the one other thing that I think is really interesting, and many of you veterans, old timers like me, we call ourselves dinosaurs at Scholastic. We actually have a dinosaur club of people who've been there for 25 years or more, proudly, is that we're going back to some of the, the wonderful things that, that were dismissed and pushed aside as testing pushed um, the curriculum into um, the very skills base. So in, in the ELA block, we're getting back to things like text to self. Um, we're getting back to more creative thinking. Um, we're, you know, all of the SEL, we call it SEL, but that, that was, that was, that was, you know, 30 years ago, teachers were making a lot of time in the ELA block to help kids relate personally and emotionally to characters in exactly the way that Trish and I using fancy, you know, 21st century jargon are talking about now. So it, that's been a really nice thing to see how I think we're, we're all recognizing the power of stories to certainly we need them to be strong readers. We want kids to learn critical reading skills. We want them to be, be able to answer a really challenging close reading question. But we also really want them to be able to absorb as much as possible from these incredible stories, um, whether they're fiction, nonfiction, or poetry.